Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to make this video to show you how to uh, save your grid setups within Thinkorswim and move them between your virtual account and your real account or your real account to virtual account. It doesn't matter however you want to do it, but it can be very time consuming to set up your um, templates within Thinkorswim and to try to then, you know, have them in one account and then move them to another. If you don't know how to do the process and you just decide to start all over again, it can take you so long to do it. I mean, all these things that you see here, all these indicators, um, everything that I have on here, it takes some time to set up. Uh, again, I customize it the way I like it, but it's very important that when you get um, this set up the way you like it, it's always important in, with uh, TD Ameritrade to go up here in the Thinkorswim platform, click on the grid, and click Save Grid As, and you enter the grid name <clears throat> because it saves everything the way you like it. Because what will happen is if you go up here and you wanted to make it, let's say, to uh, you wanted to make it two grids now. Well, now you have to relink it. Now you have to add in the filter studies from over here to go over here. Then you have to recolor code it to, way, to the way you like it. It could be super annoying. That's why each time you do something the way you like it, go up here, click Save Grid as, grid as and save it. And then you'll see up here all the different grids that I have. So I have multiple grids, so I don't have to go through this. So you'll see here, uh, I'll go back here and you'll see... I have a one cell active trader. This is uh, TD Ameritrade's um, active trader. Um, again, let me take another step back. If you're not familiar with the TD Ameritrade platform and you want to learn how to use it more, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel and watch our Thinkorswim playlist because we have a lot of different tutorials on Thinkorswim. And I show you how to set up um, all of these indicators, the filter studies, how to make change the background. We we everything that you see here, I show you how to do um, in your um, in your uh, virtual account or your real account, and that's why we recommend Thinkorswim, is because they have an incredible uh, virtual trading account to use, and we always recommend using a virtual trading account before using live money because um, you can really get burnt. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you're not careful trading with a real account and real money without using a virtual platform. And this is my simulated platform. As you can see here, I lot, make lots of like training videos and tutorials that I like to give out to the community. So, but this, this trading, this virtual account that I have here looks just like my uh, real account. So I use these same charts, these same setups, setups in my virtual account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get these over into your real account or vice versa. And as well as what I'm gonna do for you is I'm going to, uh, in the description field below in this YouTube um, uh, video, I'm going to add a, a bunch of these grids that I've done up here. I'm gonna add some over there for you um, and you'll be able to click on them and I'm gonna show you how to upload them yourself excuse me, so it'll save you a bunch of time from having to do all this yourself. But what you'll want to do is you'll basically load it into your platform. It'll look just like mine, but you might like a different color. You might like different indicators. You might want to add or remove an indicator, or you might want to change over here. And that's okay. I'll give you the, <clears throat> excuse me, how I have everything set up over here. And then you would just edit and change everything you the way you like it. But just remember, always go up here to this grid click Save Grid As, and rename it, click Save, and then there you go. So I'm going to, again, give you several of them to have, you know, different ones set up. You can keep the ones you like. You can delete the ones you don't like. If you don't like any of them, you don't have to use any of them. Um, but I just try to do it to make it helpful uh, because I'm not sure if you're a day trader or a swing trader or a long-term trader. So I'll give you a few different setups, and then you can go in and, you know, change them the way you like. And just give you a few examples of the ones <clears throat> that... I'll be sending to you or or the ones I might change. You know, I have them a certain way right now, um, but, you know, I, I might upload certain ones for you. I'm not sure which ones I'll upload yet, but just I'll give you a variety. But right now I have it saved to JNUG because I follow JNUG a lot. You can have it default to a different stock, but again, it doesn't matter. I can go in here and I can change it to, um, you know, any stock that I want. Uh, so if you're... AAPL. I don't trade Apple much. What is Apple? AAPL. Oops. Oh, goodness. AAPL. 
<laughs> Here we go. So there we go. So basically the template will stay the same. <clears throat> Just change the stock. Everything changes. basically stays the same. If I have it saved on the five minute on this one, if you want to save it by default to the daily or hourly or whatever, you can change it that way. Um, again, any change that you make, you save it by default. So if you can have a few of these, you can save it as the five minute, a one hour, a daily. So you can have several this way or you can come over to other charts that I have. I have a one day bear chart, as you can see here. So I do a lot of video tutorials. So I like to keep, the, keep this kind of clean and just kind of make tutorial videos. So when you know it shows up on the screen, it's not so cluttered or jumbled. Um, you may like or dislike this chart, it's up to you. I have a one by two cell active trader. <clears throat> this enables me right now, I do a lot of trading with JNUG and JDust where these are two stocks that trade inverse of each other. So you'll see when one goes up, um, one will go down. So you'll see how they trade inverse of each other. So you can put you know, a couple ETFs that trade inverse of each other, one above the other, and have a trade set up here. And you can day trade or swing trade or whatever, whatever you're looking, uh, however your trading style is. But you can trade with a stock one above the other. Or you can do... Um, you know, if you're doing day trading and you have a watch list over here and you want to watch a couple stocks where you can change it to the one minute and the five minute um, and have your setup. Again, I have a couple set up that way. Which one do I have? Oh, I think it's the two by two cell over here. So I have a two by two cell set up right over here. Look at this. A one minute and a five minute, a one minute and a five minute. I have JNUG and JDust. Again, I do a, a day trading strategy doing this. Um, but again, you can have a couple stocks. So if you have a watch list over here, you can have ABC stock up here, XYZ stock down here, and then you can have your active trader ladder set up like this, ready to go. And you can see I have my indicators on here, my 9, my, uh, what is it, 9, 20, 50, 200. Um, I've got my MACD. Uh, again, you can change it if you wanted to do a volume overlay, put volume up here, add RSI, you can do that. Um, but again, I have other ones here where I have a setup, you know, right here I have one that tracks uh, gold and the dollar. So that's on the daily. So instead of having to always pull this stuff up and move it around, I can just go on to my grid and I can see right here, gold. What is gold doing? I have a, a one hour and a daily setup. Sorry for all the jumbles and the colors in the screen. I, I make, again, tutorial videos, so it kind of saves some of these. So if I send them to you and it has a drawing still on it, just remove the drawings by right-clicking, removing all drawings, and you'll see it'll be blank. And then go up, you know, change it to however you like, and then go back up here again, save grid as, and you can save it to how you like. So, like I said, I'm, I'm going to send you several just to give you um, some options, get you set up. You go in and tweak it yourself. Watch our filter studies video. Watch our custom setup videos on Thinkorswim. But if you want to just kind of very simply see where to go to change basics, you can go to the toggle wheel heel here, click on appearance, and change you know candlesticks and background colors. If you go up here to studies and click on edit studies you can change the filter studies however you like it sometimes this other one is i can't figure out how to get rid of this open interest one this grid for putting this one in here and i don't want to have it in here but again tweak it play around with it the way you like and then save it so my whole point being is that's kind of how the it's set up so now how you move it from um you know one account to the other your virtual to your real or your real to a virtual once you have it set up the way you like you want to come up here and then you want to go down to share grid, okay? When you click on share grid, you want to name your grid, whatever it is. So I'm going to do this one as um, test three. Uh, just because I was just doing some previous videos here. So you'll, um, you'll see test three, and then you click on share on my trade. Now, when I click share, you're going to see a link pop up real quick. Don't worry if you can't click on open link or you don't save it, if you couldn't right click it. What you want to do is the moment you do this and you save the, um, the grid however you like it, you come over here to tools and you'll see here shared items. And you'll see right here, I actually just did a video on moving all of my virtual ones over to my real account. So you're going to save 
So you can take the ones I send you or just create ones yourself, however you like it. But no matter what happens, save the grids the way you like them. And once you save them, again, you'll come back from charts over to tools, down to shared items, and you're going to see all of them over here. Okay. <clears throat> what you do is you'll have the links over here. So these are shareable links. These are the links that I'm going to be sending to you. Um, again, you can tweak them you like, and all you would what, the, tweak them the way you'd like. And all you'll do is you'll log into your Thinkorswim account. If you're importing mine, um, you would just log into your uh, Thinkorswim account, open up the link that you see here. Let's say, let me just open up this one right here, and you'll see it right here. It'll show you the link here. You'll click on Open, and when it opens, um, you'll see it right here. It's in a small area. I can maximize it. Um, but I'm not going to maximize it because, again, whatever account, let's pretend this is your account right here and you're opening my grid. All you'll do is you'll go over here to the grid again, click Save Grid As right here. You'll name it. And then what will happen is you will, and again, if you did it for a few of mine, let's say if you're using my setup, you do it same thing over and over. Click on the link again, click on Open, <coughs> excuse me come over here and click on save grid as save them so whatever ones you like save them and then you'll go back over to charts and then they will be in your over in this area so when you upload mine if you upload them you'll see them over here and then you'll click on each one and again just go in and edit them the way you like if you don't like them if you're like I don't like this grid that Lucian sent me I want to get rid of it just click up here Go down to, to delete and just click whatever the grid is. Again, so make the changes you want. Um, edit, delete them, however you'd like. But that's how you do it. So basically, you're going to get your grid set up exactly the way you like it. You're going to come up. If you're doing your own, you're going to just, again, starting from scratch, you go and you save it. If you're importing mine, you'll see it over here. You make any changes. Go back up over here. Save grid as. You'll have it saved. Um, and how to import them again um, is you'll see those links that I post in the description field. Log into your virtual or your real account or both and just come over here to, to uh, um, actually you'll log into your account and you'll just open my links. And again, once you open my link, you'll see it open here. Click on open and then you'll just go over here to the grid, click save as and voila, it'll save for you. So that's um, <clears throat> that's how to do it. So again, I, I want to try and help you out, give you a few options. Hopefully some option works for you. If not, um, you know, again, just create it the way you'd like. But it's just very important. You want to practice between your accounts and you want to treat your virtual account just like you would your real account. Uh, if you're already trading real account and you don't care about a virtual account, then just, hey, great, take these charts or that's how you do it. Um, you know, yourself and move it into your real account and you'll be ready to rock and roll. But if you wanted to you know, trade with your real account, but you're like, hey, how does, you know, how does the active trader uh, setup work with TD Ameritrade? Or how does the big button setup work? Um, how do I do different strategies um, with, um, you know, different type of trades? Let's say you're an, a, day, a, a day trader and you want to learn options or an options trader and you want to learn day trading, but you don't want to practice with your real money. Well, that's great. Then come over to your virtual account have your, um, <clears throat> excuse me, have your grid set up and practice trading, whether you want to use the active trader ladder or the big buttons tab or whether you want to use level two. It's all up to you, but it's all fully customizable within Thinkorswim. And that's why we really love using Thinkorswim because they offer you so much, so many features um, and they're very resourceful. So again, hopefully this video helps you. Hopefully um, you know, the grids I send to you uh, will help you to get started because trust me, getting all of these set up, set up the way you like here could take you a couple hours, if not more. Uh, this took me probably a couple hours and that's after, um, you know, I knew what I was doing because you want to tweak the colors, you want to tweak things the way you like, but just getting, just to show you an example, if I go here and I go up and I, uh, how do I, uh, let's do it a reset here give you an example. When you log into your account, this is going to be what it looks like when you first get it set up with your Thinkorswim account. So that's kind of what you're going to be getting right out of the box. So then you got to go up here and you're going to have to customize everything you like and change the appearances. 
uh, you're going to have to go over here to um, your filter studies and add all the studies that you want. <clears throat> and then you would go up here and then decide whether you, how many grids you want and linking them together. Um, and again, each time you do it, if you have a four grid setup, you save it. If you want to do a two grid setup, you come down here and you do a two grid setup or whatever and you do it the way you like and you save it. I um, I wanted to do my best to help you out by kind of getting you a head start by giving you some templates. Um, but again, if you want to know how I did these and uh, how I set up the filter studies and how I changed the colors, um, basically just go and watch our YouTube playlist on Thinkorswim and it should really help you out. So again, hopefully this video helped you. If you're not familiar with our, our community on Facebook, we have an awesome community called the Bullish Bears. Let me see if I can head over here. Yeah, here we are. Uh, we're, we are the Bullish Bears on Facebook. As you can see, we have a few thousand members from around the world. We just love helping each other out, and we have a lot of fun on a daily basis. So if you're not a member of our community yet, make sure you come and join us. Um, click on the link below, and um, <clears throat> you'll head over to our website over at bullishbears.com. Um, just click on the link, you know, uh, and just submit a, a request. We'll approve you into our community. We'd love to have you.